So good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning session. We have been discussing the activities of the self. And if we go back and see what we had been talking about earlier, that when our lower activities of desiring, feeling, thinking, expecting, when these are not guided from within, when we are looking outward and not referring to our natural acceptance that much, then most of these imaginations are being driven or being motivated by our preconditionings from outside and perhaps sensation from outside. So in both cases, this is something we are getting from outside. We are not referring to ourselves from within. And so our imagination, particularly our desire, our feeling, is being driven by our preconditionings and sensation from outside. And of course, when the feeling or the desire is driven by that, then the thoughts and the expectations of you know how to go about fulfilling that desire or how to uh, go about with that feeling that gets driven automatically through the feeling or the desire and the thought process, the expectation all fall in line and accordingly our behavior happens outside. But when we are not aware, this all seems so mechanical and automatic and we think this is just happening and uh, we don't know what's going on, the process behind that. And we think that some things just happen automatically and that clarity doesn't come of what is happening in the self and what is happening in the body. So as we keep paying attention, we will notice a change. Earlier, when we were not taking the reference of the natural acceptance, we may have been just, you know, expecting something from outside all the time that things may change outside, things should happen outside that was perhaps, you know, what was driving us. So whether it be sensation, something outside will make me happy. So a lot of times what we may have been doing is going with our likes and avoiding whatever we disliked. So our whole lifetime, we may find that we have been doing this. Whatever we like, we go towards that. Whatever we dislike, we avoid it. So our senses in a way are driving us rather than us driving the senses or taking charge of the senses. Similarly, when we are you know, in that thought process of everything that we take reference from outside, then we may be largely thinking about what I will gain from everything from outside. So profit, more profit, more profit, maximization of profit. There may be many people who have achieved many things in the outside world, but you may find that they are still going with maximizing profit, maximizing more and more and more, because we don't know how much we actually need what is the requirement? And because of that void within, the higher activities are dormant within. That void is there. We, we are not feeling fulfilled from within. And we are not clear about that fulfillment from within. So we, are keep, we keep trying to fill it from the outside. So unguided profit, unguided senses, unguided health, unguided health in the sense that we are so driven by the body, this assumption that we are the body. And if anything small goes wrong with the body, we go all out to correct it. And you know, we may um, be over-evaluating everything about the body. And then our whole focus becomes how to keep the body in good health so that we may enjoy from the senses. So all that may be driving us. But 
as we go further and we keep exploring and we keep referring to our natural acceptance slowly like we were talking yesterday these higher activities open up within us and when they do we contemplate on our relationship with others we see our relationship or we start seeing our relationship from within after referring to the natural acceptance we start paying attention to the self and we realize that the self is the one that is really driving the body the body is just a tool of the self so now things can be looked at through a better filter through seeing things or at least trying to see things the way they are rather than through whatever our preconditionings may be from outside whatever we may have assumed earlier and whatever was driving us our feeling our desire through the senses now we can start having a reference within from within us so as we contemplate we are able to see our relationship on the basis of the self that our relationship is not just with our immediate relatives but or within the family that immediate small family but much beyond that if we look at the self and not only do we start seeing the relationship we start seeing our participation in the relationship in the larger order so like yesterday we were talking about every unit in this existence is complete is whole in itself and participates in the larger order except of course the human being when we are not with that understanding so we try to be different we try to be separate we think we are different we are um special but as we keep paying attention to the self we find that we are also similar to all other human beings we are related to all and we start seeing our role in the relationships in this larger order and we start playing our part without trying to be special or different so we participate and as we go further and have the you know access to this activity of understanding we are also able to understand that not only is there a sort of harmony within us that we keep wanting to return to because whenever there is disharmony we don't like it we want to come out of it quickly that is a part of our own self organization at the level of the self and we find that this kind of a harmony or this kind of a self organization is there in each and every unit so we can see it in the self we can see it in the body and if we pay attention we will be able to see this in each and every unit in existence so we are able to recognize to understand the harmony in the nature and then further as we develop our competence and we open up the highest activity within us the activity of realization then we are able to see everything in this existence the way it is not the way we are looking at it through our gross eyes but the way it is that is we are able to see the space the basis for all of these units that are we can see the activity in all these units the basis of this is the submergence in space so when we are able to see space we are able to see this directly that this is how we all are already related it's not that we are separate as we thought based on what 
we can see right now through the body, through the sense organs. So with that realization of the coexistence, then we are able to see our role in this whole coexistence, that we just have to see this and be with it. Play our part in it. Be one with it. And then that drives our you know, determination to... So now you can see that as the higher activities within us become you know, um, something that we can access or we become conscious of them, we become aware of them, then with this, you know, this realization that is happening within, you can see at one end, there is this realization within, all this, what we are able to see within. And with that, I can see my role, what I'm supposed to do with that realization, with that seeing the coexistence, seeing the space and how everything is there in coexistence. Now I see I am no special thing. I'm also one small unit in this huge coexistence. And I just need to play my part. At least I should not try to disturb this. So now my whole focus becomes how to be one with this coexistence, how to be one part of it. And I can see that now this realization can guide my understanding, can guide my contemplation, and this contemplation can guide my lower activities. And with that, I see, you know, with this that is happening within me, now all this is guiding my lower activities. With that, now I act outside. So it will start reflecting outside in my interactions with other human beings. It will start reflecting outside when I am working with nature. My focus now will be on my participation in everything, in everything that I do, in everything um, that I do outside with others, other human beings or with nature in all my interactions. Somewhere at the base will be this realization that everything, the coexistence that is there, I need to be one with it. So I see my relationship also at the level of the self. I see my relationship with other human beings. I see all this self-organization that is there in all the units. And I see how best I can at least not interfere with it and let it be the way it is in self-organized manner. So with that, you know, this expression outside is there and this expression outside ultimately as you know more and more and more of us understand then we can have ultimately an undivided human society and a universal human order where there is fulfillment on both sides in all our interactions we are not just looking to see for our fulfillment we are looking to see the fulfillment of all. In fact, we realize then that my fulfillment, my happiness is linked with the happiness of every other, with the fulfillment of every other. There is no other way. That becomes something that is very obvious. So on the one hand, one end is this realization within. And on the other end is my expression outside. So no big change will happen. Suddenly, it will not be that I will look different or something major is going to happen in the form. But all this has taken place within. And that is now driving all my feelings, my thoughts, my expectations, and my behavior and work, my participation outside. So this we need to get to. So then now, if we look at this whole big existence, we'll be able to see that everything else in existence is already in order, is already in harmony, is already in coexistence. 
it was just the human being that is creating this disturbance in all of these areas so now when i see that when i do this within myself when i start within myself then i can help others also to see this with that uh, realization that everybody takes time according to their own sanskars according to their own development and they have a choice right i have a choice even though i think something is not right still i do have the choice to make the wrong choice isn't it and there is a provision in nature to in the way things are for me to still be able to reach that potential so despite the fact that i may have made many mistakes in the past despite the fact that i may have had many different kinds of thoughts different kinds of things even in my behavior i may have done many things wrong but still that provision is there in nature for me to the day i start referring to my natural acceptance i can move towards changing that correcting that and no matter how bad a mistake i may have made i still have that potential in me that i will reach eventually that i can work towards realization but i have to make that effort because without that effort it's not just going to happen on its own it will happen in it on its own eventually but it will take a long much longer time and in that process how often i am going to be you know this moving from pleasure and pain and the unhappiness that i have all of that ultimately when i am sick and tired of it then i will come back to this this becoming conscious working on oneself referring to the natural acceptance this is one way of making this process happen at a slightly faster pace based on my effort so if i put in more effort i'll be able to move at a little faster pace if i don't make that effort or if i make less effort then i will move at a slightly lower pace but ultimately we are all going to get there and once we play our part in this then this whole the existence which is in coexistence i can also be one with it and all human beings have this potential to be one with it and ultimately this development that we are seeing here the purple block this is something that is once you get to a particular you know opening up of this activity in the purple block then it stays with you it doesn't just go away so whatever work we do in this realm that is something that is not going to get reversed before this in the b2 block you know i may get lot of information but you know with the death of the body i may not retain this or i will not retain this i it may seem easier for me to access uh, you know uh, or to be able to access this information later in the next round in my next journey but there is possibility of reversal here but as we open up the higher activities now we don't fall back so low that we move on from there to the further journey within till we get to the highest state but this is all just something that um, you know we may not be able to see right now and that's fine we can work with what we are able to see to begin with the natural accept uh for today let us see what we are working for or in all our interactions where is our focus on things that are going to change that are not going to be there after the death of this body or are we focusing on something that we will retain within us for the next round for instance what kind of sanskars because those sanskars is what we will carry with us but all this information wealth those 
kind of things, if our focus is there, this is all going to be left behind. And in our next journey, this is not going to help us much. What is going to help us is our sanskars. So where is our focus in our interactions? Lot to contemplate, lot to think about, lot to uh, digest. And we'll come back with your observations tomorrow.